tell you.
what's going on y'all hey that was a good video to show how long it take to set penny up when we go from using the uh backhoe to putting on the box blade i just wanted to do a quick video on that uh i'm gonna show you what i had a problem with um when i was disconnecting it had a lot to do with this connector right here the uh wide one on the bottom i'll show you but anyway one thing that i also had an issue with i was going to just hook up the box blade straight to the uh the tractor instead you know instead of using the quick disconnect and i wasn't able to because of this right here so i had to use the quick disconnect so that's why i went ahead and put the quick disconnect on and i'm not gonna lie the quick disconnect was very very easy to put on super simple i don't know why i would skip that step and that step of putting that quick disconnect on made it so i could just back up and put this right right on so I'm gonna be honest with you, quick disconnect. No extra time, no extra problem to really get on. I thought it was a good idea. I'm gonna continue to use it. Only thing is I can't use the quick disconnect for uh, the subsoiler, but I don't really plan on using the subsoiler a lot more. So it's probably best that I go ahead and keep this on because I can't use it with everything else. So we're gonna be using this on the trails starting this evening. I gotta go uh, to a couple appointments right quick. But this is one of the things that, I, like I say, you have to get ready and set up for the task that you want to get done. So this evening, if I have a little bit of time, which I got a busy day today, uh, we're going to drag the trails a little bit. I got some cool angles I'm going to be showing you. So hopefully everything come out good. Anyway, I just wanted to show you all how quick and easy now that I'm learning. And I'm saying it is a learning curve to this stuff. And I'm learning. And I just proved it because I don't feel like that took that long to get all that set up. Um, I, I'm starting to disconnect this three point more often, more often. I like having the backhoe on the back because I feel like if you park it for too long, you'll never use it again. So I'm going to keep that boy moving as much as I can. Plus it's the most weight that I feel like I can put, I can put on Penny. I got out here and cut the grass today. Didn't use Penny. I'm telling you, Penny's uh, belly mower is still down. And what I'm saying is it's like, she's got a belly ache because we ain't getting that boy back up. But let me show you this right quick. So. What I, where I was having problems is this right here, this connection, it gets wedged down in here. And when it gets wedged down in there, you cannot move it good. So what you have to do is sometimes move the tractor again and move the connections and all that kind of stuff just to get, uh, so you can get that out. So that's where I had my trouble. If, that, if I wouldn't have had that problem right there and had to restart the tractor, uh, I would have got done a lot quicker with that. But that's how it looks sometimes so and one thing that i did is i went ahead and i started placing something underneath so that it doesn't settle too much uh i think that's a good thing i'm planning on getting the uh the not a trailer but the cart for it but that's gonna take some time but anyway let me show you why i'm gonna be dragging these trails right quick if you can't tell we came through here with the subsoil that busted it up real good so now what i want to do is smooth out some of these areas i'm not gonna walk you too far back here We'll just walk in this area and out the other. But as you can tell, stuff has started growing through the trails and it was too muddy back here for a while because of the way that I had ran the water. Uh, but we got a lot we're gonna be doing with this box blade. And like I said, I got some cool new angles. So we're gonna be getting some cool footage hopefully here soon. Anyway, I wanna thank y'all for tuning in. This was just a short video. The show setting up Penny. For getting ready for that box blade hey we over a year now of working with penny and i think it's getting a little bit easier i'm not as intimidated still takes me time to want to get hey 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 calm down look at them got a little mud spot they can play in yep so we're gonna do some uh some box blading be on the lookout it's gonna be several videos of that because i'm just gonna be dragging them trails until they get smooth cleaned out the fire pit got some new new rocks laid around it too they're gonna be filling it in with the ash starting out good anyway stay tuned penny in the box blade year two here we go smooth trails and i need to bring some dirt out to start filling in these areas right here smooth trails here they come hey thank y'all for tuning in yet again it's your boy here we out
lot more in there. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. There it is. Good pile of wood chips right there. Oh, yeah. I just got Penny another project. Oh, I love running into arborists in my neighborhood. Oh, I'll just be asking them, can you drop? Hey, this is a good chip drop. I, I went through chip drop and it didn't work, but this is a good one. Give me a project for Penny to do. And he pulled it all the way back here from the house and dumped it right here. I was planning on having it dumped in this area, but since it ain't cleaned out, but now I'm gonna clean it. I think what I'm gonna do is I probably just spread this in this area and grade this area out over here and make it so when they start dumping, it's gonna be a cleared path. Just come dump straight back here. I would have liked for him to dump it over this way. Actually, this might be my new dump area right here. If I can get him just to dump straight back here from up there, pull straight back this way. Anyway, my appointment got canceled and I got some work to do out here in the yard with Penny now. Doing the trails and this at the same time. Oh, I love this. This is gonna be great. Oh yeah, let's get to work, y'all.